Hello again, everybody, and welcome back. This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough, we're going to be checking out our newest library, the Orville Pipe Organ. The Orville Pipe Organ is a classic pneumatic pipe organ with over 1,200 pipes, 21 ranks, 3 divisions, 2 manuals, 18 stops, and 31 registers. It has a robust and mighty sound with an epic presence and a grand tonal body. For this library, we captured several of our favorite sustained staccatos and two microphone positions close and far, as well as some different effects from this organ, taking these sounds, creating new ambiences, custom effects presets, and much more. So let's go ahead and dive in and start checking out all the sounds and features within the new Orville pipe organ. All right, so now we got the Orville pipe organ loaded up. Now let's go ahead and have a listen to the close mic, which is mic position one, and give you an idea of how this sounds. Now let's load up the far mic position so you can hear how these sound together. Let's have a listen to just the farm mics now. So you can hear that distance of the room. And then when you add that close mic, So what you just heard was the combo 2D from the sustains category. So since we still have sustains loaded and we click this, we can see all the available sustains that you have. So let's check out the first one here. A little bit more of a softer sound. And here's the next one. This one's called the Octave 4. Principle 2. The block flute. The trumpet A. Principle 8. This is the combo two. And then we got the combo five. This library also comes with some different handcrafted ambiences that we crafted out of the source content, so let's have a listen to some of these now.
And then if you want to take any of these ambiences and start adding some different effects, you can go up to the advanced tab. Here you have some LFO, filter, and arpeggiation. You also have this legato design area. So if you want to take some of these and make them a little bit more melodic and create some more legato type lines, you can enable the legato. You can also have the option of portamento or legato. With portamento and something like ambiences, it fits a little bit better so you can get some really cool really quick sweeping portamento style leads. And then you can adjust how long or dragged out that portamento effect is. So if you want to start low and then you can do that. So we also have some staccatos as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use the combo 2D. I'm going to open up the advanced tab. I have the ARP already loaded up and you can take some of these staccatos and use them in a little bit more of an arpeggiated way because the staccatos will work very nicely with that. This library also has some different effects that we recorded from this organ as well. So let's check out these chimes that we got loaded up here. So with this extend range, you can take these recorded chimes and play them even lower than you could normally. So this is the range that we recorded. And then when you do this extend range, you'll see it fills out all the gaps so you can get really high or really low. Let's check out the Zimbelstern. And then if you want to take any of these sounds and spread them across the key range, just click this chromatic spread button, select the one that you want. And now you'll see you have them mapped all the way across the key range. So playing them up really high gets some really unique sounds. And then we also have these blower sounds. As well as some different pedal sounds that we recorded. So you can incorporate these to get a little bit more added realism with your tracks. With this library, you also have our effects rack that you've seen in plenty of our other libraries. So if you click this, you'll have some different effects that you can load up. You have two different racks of effects that you can load at one time. So we have some reverb, which we have loaded here. I'm gonna turn this on so you can hear how this sounds. Right now, this is a cathedral, but we also have some other options as well. So let's keep it on cathedral, check out some of the other different IRs that we have, so let's listen to the far A. So we also created 20 custom effects presets utilizing all the different features of this library to give you some inspirational jump starters and get you on your composing journey. So let's have a listen to some of these.
This one's called Gliss Sweep and utilizes the Gliss feature within our arpeggiator. So you can just play one key and get some really awesome stuff happening. So let's have a listen to this. All right, so that about wraps up this walkthrough for the new Orville Pipe Organ. If you'd like to learn more about this library or check out some demos to hear it in action, make sure to go to soundiron.com. Please subscribe to stay up to date on future videos like these. And until next time, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.